Hey, Norge, and hello, Eurovision fans. It's William Kelly from Wee Wee Vlogs. And it's Freddie Hip. We are in Tron time ahead of the final of Melo D Grand Prix 2024. Yeah. Are you loving it here? It's lovely. It's it good gorgeous. food. Snowy weather. Feels like Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, we had vegan food for lunch, all you can eat. Oh, and then we slept for about an hour. He ate all he could. In any case, <laughs> should we go back and forth and name our top three? <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do this! this. And when I say back and forth, I mean not back and forth, because we have the exact same yeah. top three, funny enough. So, Freddie, why don't you kick us off with our number three? Our number three is my AI, Erica Norwich, and is it Erica Norwich and someone? Super Rob! Super Rob. No so, need to redo. Babe, okay. we are full frontal, okay. no <laughs> need to redo. Okay. <laughs> Erica Norwich and Super Rob. Um, I basically, I don't, I'm not in love with the song, but I think mm. it's a big show, big song, big stage show, and I think it could look good at Eurovision. Oh. Um, it's memorable. It's very, very memorable. Yeah, you know what, the thing is, this is, not, this, I don't respond to this type of music, and I'm really over the whole AI thing generally, but this is fun. And when you hear it, it has like this K-pop vibe, it's very cutesy, like, I find myself not wanting to listen, but then listening. Like, I literally listen to the whole thing. Yeah, I completely agree. And out of all of the songs, it's it's on a loop in my head. Like, yeah. I can, it's completely, I sing it all the time. I'm lying in bed going. Yeah, yeah. and you sleep a lot. <laughs> and the thing is, they also have the visual, right? The built-in visual yeah. with this giant robot. Mm. Have they confirmed who's in there? Is it the guy from Subwoofer? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> but all I know is you see this massive monster and you're like, okay, mm. okay. <laughs> um, you could see that translating well. Also, there is one thing. I find this quite funny. She says at some point, I'm not beautiful. And then the robot, rather than saying, oh, yeah. you are beautiful, the robot's like, girl, but you're smart. You can change the world. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe say she's pretty too, because Erica is stunning. I'm yeah. sorry. She's stunning. Now, Freddie, we should also address the elephant in the room. She, in the semifinal, was not happy with her performance. I don't know if you... Did you watch the semifinal? Yes, I did, yeah. It wasn't her strongest. However, I think that's a good thing, because it means for the final, you're going to grow. Yeah, there's like, only one way to go, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. um, I think there are also questions about how logistically it's going to work at Eurovision. I mean, a lot of the vocals are done by Super Rob, who doesn't seem to actually be there. I, I don't yeah. know. I, I, do, I don't know logistically how it works already at, at Melody Grand Prix, so... They could just hide, like, a backing vocalist, I guess. Yeah, but there's a lot of kind of robot voice and... Like voc and oh. vocoder and... The Norwegians know how to make it work, though. Like, yeah, yeah, sure they, yeah, they will slay. Um, final point for me, she's been very open about living with BPD. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, more power to her for being so honest and open. And I think it's been a real struggle for her, but the fact that she's talked about it has made her very human. And I do wonder if that will... I don't want to say pity votes or sympathy votes, but if people will respect the journey she's been on. No, people... Well, people connect with her for that reason. And that's only a good thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, exposure to mental health things, yeah. I hope she does well. Like, yeah, me too. You know what? I would not be upset if this won. I wouldn't be upset. It's not my top pick, but I wouldn't be upset. No, and if it didn't win, I'd love to see her back for a future Melody Grand Prix. Yeah. For sure as well. Well, we move on to our number two. You can have the honor. Okay. This is Anne Princess and Save Me. I think it's a beautiful song. Beautiful lyrics. Beautiful voice. Oh I actually God. think she can do more with her voice. So she's not done with the song so far. Maybe she could bring it later. But um, I actually would put this as my number one. I just think there are some other songs that may work better on a Eurovision stage. But it's an amazing song. A beautiful performance. Um, what do you think? She, in terms of like studio cut, like a radio version, something I'd hear in the UK, this is my number one. Mm. Like this is a mainstream pop song and it has meaning. If you read about her background, Liberian refugee, father was like a, a warlord, a, warlord yeah. like a rebel, um, imprisoned her mother. She couldn't leave the house. They fled, came to Norway. What a beautiful story. And then she grafted and worked and she's trying to make it in the music industry. Mm, mm. I'm sorry, that's like a, that's a movie. It absolutely is. And she's the star, and she could do the soundtrack. I just think this is, the it's a fantastic song. The staging, to me, was a little dark. Like, it was just a little dark. And I don't mean that in terms of sad. I mean, I couldn't see people. It could be my bootleg computer. But, but at the same time, <laughs> I just needed a bit more light. She's in white. It's almost like she's in a mental facility. Like, I thought it was a straight jacket. Like, she looked like she was wearing a straight jacket, and she was dealing with these demons. Or maybe she was just dealing with the past. I don't know. But, um... 
if they, say the jury put this first, say this went to Eurovision, I feel like they could work with it for sure. Oh, absolutely. And I agree. I'd like to see something bigger with the staging and more of a a clearer storyline. I mean, it shows she's obviously grappling Ooh. with something. That's the kind of um, concept of it. But um, yeah, maybe if they could push that a bit harder, I think. Yeah. And you know what, Freddie? Maybe it's that... Obviously, there's a Nordic aesthetic, and like mm. that, it, to me, it looks very Norwegian, sleek, the coloring, everything. So perhaps that they're, they're playing to the domestic audience, obviously, because mm. this is a domestic TV show made for Norwegians. Maybe they would tweak it if it did go to Eurovision and make it, um, I don't know, pop a bit more. Because, yeah, I like it. It's just, it's too minimalist for me, I guess. Yeah, with a very minimalist song as well. Mm. So maybe that's what, I mean, but that's what it is. Maybe yeah. it needs something to bring you a bit further on the journey. Because either one or two has to be elevated. You know? Yeah, you're out of frame, I think. Sorry. And she's back. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I just think this is so good. It's so catchy. Yeah, and also you can really read into the lyrics about yeah. her past traumas. And if you, oh. if you read up on her background, it's a very interesting story. I mean, you can really read into that through that way as well. She ain't Anne Princess. She's Anne Queen. Okay, <laughs> all hail. We move on to our number one, our favorite to go to Eurovision, the Eurovision Song Contest, a TV show, Freddie. Num -da 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 -dum -da -dum. <laughs> Save me! Also has that hook in there too. Yeah. Um, yeah, amazing song. It's just so fun. It's just That's fun. So That's why you watch Eurovision. Yeah. Just for a lull. And I think, yeah, strong vocal will do well people. You could hear this on the radio in multiple European countries. Mm -hmm. I think the dum digga dum digga, although this is a Sami word and this has like, you know, meaning locally, I think it has a, a meaning globally. Like, yeah. it sounds like, it just sounds like gibberish. Like people would say this. It's a hook it, that yeah. people, international people from any, any language speaker will get and will yeah. be able to sing. You would take it as like something you could say in your language. Exactly, yeah. Um, so that's quite nice. Also, the vocals, you don't have to question with them. You don't have to question They're the vocals. so strong. Alexandra, that voice, again, probably the best voice in the competition. And they just look so happy when they sing it. It's, <laughs> it's like this constant <laughs> smile. Um, no, I think it's a brilliant song. And I probably wouldn't save it onto my Spotify playlist, but it's a song I want to see on stage. Well, you know what's interesting is I never, as you know, I never save Eurovision music onto my playlist. And I saved this to my playlist. Wow, well, there we go. Yeah, I really like this. And um, actually, the secret weapon here is Fred. Alexandra has the, I mean, amazing vocals, incredible, and she carries most of the song. But his dumb dig a bit, that's what people are going to remember and vote for. That's what people vote for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to, and then Tom is so perfectly placed at the end. Mm. It's like, well, how are they going to mix this up? Interstage, you know, interstage left. We've got a dude coming at you right now. Oh, yeah. It's dynamic. Mm. And the final thing is the staging, actually, that big box. Like, yeah, I'd really like to see what they're going to do yeah. tomorrow with that staging. Is it mm. going to be any different from the semi final? Um, where would they go to Eurovision if they went uh, with that? What, what would they do? How would they change it? Yeah. I would like to see the TV heads, more mm. of the TV heads, to be honest. It's funny, the TV heads are very Moldova 2014 national selection. Mm. There was a blonde singer whose name I cannot remember. It was one of our very first interviews on the Wooly Blogs YouTube channel. I'm calling actually... plagiarism. Uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I mean, these are high tech um, <laughs> yeah. voice blurred boxings. I don't really understand the staging, but hey, I'm fine with that. Because when that box opens, when Alexandra lets them open her box magical things happen <laughs> and all these folks come running out this, this was classy and i just think you know the point of this video is who should go to eurovision and i feel like that song would do well at eurovision yeah. um but we need to take a step back then freddie mm -hmm. because there's this f other act i think we ranked it fourth ulva Haman, the yeah. song from gata why didn't you put it in your top three um, I think I, it lost me at the chorus. Um, just mel sonically, melodically, it just wasn't for me. It was um, something you're not going to remember in a sea of 26 songs mm -hmm. if we got to the final. Uh, and, I was, and I think that was the issue. Visually, I'm good, fine. I actually, yeah, I prefer the verses to the chorus. That's the only issue and I want a strong chorus. Yeah, it's funny, you said this, and I wholeheartedly agree, is that I love everything happening around her. Like, the rock in the background, that's like very Nordic rock, right? You could see that kind of song winning in Finland, getting votes from Sweden, it would do well in Europe. But then it's like, I don't know, her wailing is beautiful. She's incredible at what she does. Oh, she's clearly talented, yeah. Very talented. Because yeah. when you see the interview she did with our Ann Vic in the semifinal, very sweet, very soft-spoken. And then on stage, she's a beast. The singer is a beast in a beautiful way. But something about it, I don't know, it just, it loses me. I, I, yeah. 
Whereas, like, Anne Princess, I was drawn in emotionally. Yeah. Kaino, I was kind of drawn in, like, you know, this is not going to stop, it's just going to keep going. Question, have we just picked all the English-speaking songs? <laughs> like, it's a fair song. point, actually. It's a fair point. Maybe we did. I think Norwegians, clearly, this is the big favourite. Yeah, because it's pulling on heartstrings for yeah, them. There's patriotism there, isn't there? But it's like, it's not translating for me yet. And I, I guess, you know, at Eurovision, you have to think about, I, there are two ways to approach it. You either choose your favourite, because you're just happy for the world to see what mm -hmm. your country mm -hmm. does, or you're strategic, and you're like, you choose what you think will do well. And, you know, I think people tend to vote just for their favourite. People don't think strategically, per se. Yeah, and I think people like a song that matches the country it's coming from, but people also need to be able to understand it and follow it and connect with it. And so it, it, something doesn't quite line up on, on that one to that, if that makes Yeah, sense. and I do wonder how this would go down with juries. I do... I. I don't know. It's just, to me, Anne Princess is like the jury song, and Kaino is the televote song. Mm. And, um, well, actually, maybe Super Rob is the televote song. That's true. I, young people will love, like kids. And kids do watch, but everyone watches That is absolutely TV. true. Young kids will love it. And they got phones these days. Yeah. They, I don't think it's going to stand, like, I think they're going for this kind of novelty thing that a lot of people are trying this year. Like, it doesn't, it feels like all over the national selections you're getting some kind of very similar thing that they're doing. And I actually think that's, that's going to hurt them if they do go to Eurovision. I'm so sorry, could you repeat that point? I was looking into space. <laughs> I think all over the national selections we're seeing a lot of kind of similar things. Like, we're thinking like, do the funky chicken. Oh, the like, you know, I Lithuania. actually think they're cancelling each other out because ah. I don't think it's as original as it may come across. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that's interesting. Because so many people might go for a kind of outlandish, out there outre because the world is in a very sad place. Yeah. That maybe if you actually come with a saddish song, so like Anne Princess, for instance, yeah. that would stand out. I mean, I don't think Anne Princess is going to win. I don't get that vibe at no. all. But um, I f bloody love that song. I almost cursed. I'm so sorry. Well, I think that entire, the top, the three people, the three acts that we've just selected, all of them would qualify, at least to the yeah. final. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Norway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, this is just, I put 2G and Ag, no, 2G made the Agnet, Agnet, Icebreaker, 2016. No, I, I think she was the last one not to qualify. No, Norway gets it. And it's, Stig Carlson's a genius at this stuff. Like, mm. He knows how to stage these things, so... No, I'm, I don't worry for Norway. Even Ulvaham would go through. Yeah. yeah easily, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Because it's gonna that's going to stand out. Even I mean, that's going to stand out. Yeah. Blonde druid with some rock demons. <laughs> or she's playing... Wait, I believe she's playing the stepdaughter of an evil woman who turns her into a wolf and says, I'll only free you if you drink your brother's blood, a.k.a. you bite his throat. That's beautiful. And that's just the first verse, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one where they have to change the lyrics, right? For yeah. tomorrow night. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do in a week, with a week's notice. It is funny. That. It's sort of like us reciting in a song Little Red Riding Hood from Grimm's Fairy Tales yeah. and calling it our own. That's shady. Yeah. I have to give honourable mention to Judge Tenley of me because they have beautiful harmonies. It's just, mm. I don't know if it would work at Eurovision, but I love that, love the harmonies. Well, I'm not, I hope I'm not violating our trust, but I know you ranked it eighth. You love, <laughs> the, you love those harmonies. You put not. it eighth in green lights. So if I can recall, I think we put green lights ninth. Do we? Yeah. Beautiful voice, but the song is too musical theater. Mm -hmm. Then we had... Um, was it Aya? No, it was Judge Tenderly of Me was eight. Was that then? Okay. Then seventh was Aya. Right. Because the dance break is like, dance break, girl giving me nothing. I need more motion. Where did we put uh, Margaret Berger? She was fifth or sixth. Okay, yeah. Um, the next one was... What was next? Oh, Gothminster. Well, actually, I would probably put Gothminster above Margaret Berger. Really? I don't think we put Margaret Berger so high. Yeah. I think, for me, fifth would be Gothminster after Ulva Hamann. Yeah. Or yeah. Got, yeah, because Gotham Minster, that's an amazing Nordic rock song. Mm. I just think it maybe leans too much into devil poltergeist. Like, it actually creeps <laughs> me out. Like, Lordy was tongue-in-cheek evil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. just feels evil. Like, he's going to yeah. snatch your kids. It feels a bit derivative, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think it's completely original. Um, I also think that Margaret Berger can do so much better. What, secretary? It's too secretarial. <laughs> it's really that's like... The, that's just the outfit. I'm leaving the office and yeah. I'm going to sing about Oblivion. I love the woman. I think she's amazing. Love the voice. She's got an amazing voice. But it's too secretarial. It yeah. really... It's not... It's not a risk. No. And that's what you've been saying all weekend. Yeah. It needs to be a risk. But that does not apply to your private lives. Y'all need to play safe. <laughs> keep it above board. But on Eurovision stage, on the Eurovision stage, you got to play dirty. <laughs> you got to take a risk. <laughs>
<laughs> on that note, that's what we think. What do you think? What are your top nine in Norway? Who do you think would do the best for Norway at Eurovision? And who do you think the Norwegian public will choose? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Bye. <laughs> Can oh, you... I meant to just like, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, make sure you hit us a subscribe. Make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube. Give us a like. Let us know what you think in the comments. He's in training. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.